Michael, thank you. A close-knit community in North Little Rock is hurting tonight after the shooting death of a teenager earlier this week. th 11s Jay Jackson spoke with neighbors who say they're tired of the violence near and around their homes. One woman told me that she's afraid of walking outside her apartment here at Shorter Gardens in North Little Rock. And she was afraid long before that 17-year-old was killed earlier this week. I hear everything that's going on. What I'd be scared. I'm scared to come out those and sit on the pool. This is the reason why I'm sitting out here today because there's so many people around me. Kathy Gardner has lived in Shorter Gardens for nearly two decades. She says she's heartbroken after the death of Cortavius Reed, the teen who police say was shot and killed Tuesday afternoon. Gardner tells us it happened around the corner from her apartment. I feel the little boy that, that died out here. He died out here. He didn't, it, it shouldn't have been like that. It shouldn't have been like that. He's still a child. He's still a child under me. He could be my grandchild, anything, but that shouldn't be happening in his neighborhood. I know the boy, so when he walked past me, he spoke or whatever, and as soon as I got through um, smoking my cigarette, I went in the house, and it's like two or three minutes later, I just heard pow, pow, pow. Rick Bell says he's used to hearing gunshots so often it doesn't phase him, but this time is different. He was 17 years old. They don't took his life away like that. Even though there are signs around the complex with the list of rules, including no guns or weapons, Bell says more needs to happen to stop the violence where he lives. He had just walked past me, and it's a really hurting thing. I really just wish that we would just stop killing each other. For now, neighbors like Gardner are left taking what action they can. I do, baby. I pray for myself, too, and everybody else, because it needs to be better than this. North Little Rock police couldn't be reached for comment, but if you have any information on this homicide, you're encouraged to contact North Little Rock police. Reporting out here in North Little Rock, Jade Jackson, THV 11 News.